Hello and welcome back to Kane's Corner. As you can see, we're doing Fallout 1 again. And we're in the sewers of Necropolis, uh, more specifically than anything else. There's a thing here. Uh, we've just got the parts we need to fix the water pump. And we've also been given some repair books to increase our repair skills so we can actually, you know, do it. So that's very, very good. We've read them obviously as well, hence why... Where is it? Repair. 40. Which, if I remember correctly, I think we started with 12 or something like that. So, that's pretty good. What we're going to do now is, actually, while I think of it, we're going to pop up here and see if we can find the other ghouls we've been told about. Which is Set and his cronies. Which look like they're here. Or thereabouts. So, who do we, do we talk to this guy? Set's bodyguard. Um, that seems to be able to move. Ah, okay. This is all blocked in, so... It's actually... Ooh! Been a while since I've tried to talk to Cecil any of his lots. So this is... Sort of new territory for me at the moment. That's, that's being completely honest. I don't fully remember everything that I need to do here. Uh, I do need to give... Good old Tycho, some more shit. We can have the shotgun as well, actually. Uh, carry the plasma pistol for me. If I have the Mentats as well, I don't need them right now. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I've just picked one up. Yeah, you can have one. Yeah, take all that crap for me, Tycho. Thank you very much. And I won't worry about the thing I just saw, the sort of baton, whatever it was. We'll just you know, ignore that. And we'll see if we find another way up to get into there to over here, I think, by the looks of it. Because I think Set can give us a... They also give us a quest to fix the water pump, so I think we can essentially get double XP or something along those lines. And I am a complete XP whore, I freely admit it, and I have, you know, no compunctions whatsoever about admitting that. A ghoul gang... Guard, gang guard, right, we'll leave them alone, because they don't sound very nice. Oh, shit, more zombies. Well, I guess we'd better get to the killing. The eyes, dead. We'll just uh, move away slightly. But at least it's daylight. So we've got a good chance of actually seeing them and shooting them properly and things like that. So. Uh, looks like it is. The eyes. Not dead. Now it is. Oh, maybe not. Now it is. Oh, god damn it, Ian. Use your gun. Yeah, you know, daylight makes it much easier to shoot people. So I prefer to do things in daylight. Ian, god damn it. Okay. There we go again. Just standing at range, picking them up. This is why I went for a sharpshooter character, because it's just cool. We're going to need to get some energy weapons soon, though, now, especially now we've got a plasma pistol. Because plasma's good. Ian, you're getting your ass kicked there, mate. And 95. Ooh, there goes a big chunk. 64 hit points, the ice explodes like a blood sausage. Ghoul was killed. Move swiftly on, let whoever else have their go next. Ian's used his stim pack now to give him another one soon, I think. 74 only, right, we'll go for the head then. Oop, never mind. And that should be the end of combat. Um, okay, we want to go over here. Okay. Do we need to talk to this guy before we go in? Ghoul guard. The door is locked. You have to come back later when it's dark. Oh, okay. Right. In that case, we will just... 
We can't rest at this time. Why the hell not? What about if I leave to the world map? Will that work? Try that. Halls of the Dead. Yeah, that's where he is, so... We'll just... Crash, apparently. And welcome back again. Well, I am at replay to replay what we lost due to the crash. That's why we've got this menu here. But we are camped just outside of Necropolis so we could get it dark. So we could go back to the Halls of the Dead and see about talking to Set. You haven't actually missed anything. I did exactly the same as what I've recorded, so that's good. So now we can just go over here. We should be able to talk to this guy and see about going in. Okay. So we can now go in. I'll put my gun away just so he, you know, doesn't think we're uh, trying to kill him or anything, because you never know. I'm assuming Set is here somewhere? That's Set, there we are. There'd better be a killer reason for standing in my shadow. Does next on the menu ring a bell for you, Normie? Hmm. Oh, killer it is, no doubt. Obviously, I found the head. Uh, man. Whoa, what happened to your face? Wow, you're pretty smart for a ghoul. Hmm. Ooh, let's try that one. What is that? Sucking up? Listen, Walker, I don't do the deal with norms, so blowing smoke up the tail ain't gonna get you head seat at the table. My apologies, I wanted to make a good impression. Simple time. I'm set. I'm in charge. Get it? Anything else I should know? No. More questions? <laughs> yeah, do you f do find... I suppose that's... Uh, I guess I suppose to say, do you find it difficult to floss? Guess not. What can I do for you? The mutants at the watershed need dirt naps. Makes my shadow grow. You slice them, and rewards run to you. Info to... Excellent. Teach those mutants the last lesson, then amble back. Mm. If I say to my ghouls to hold off you, the muties might hear and know. So I tell you what, it's favor time. I keep shut. Got it? What about the ghouls? Avoid my ghouls if you like your skin on. Any of mine that can't stop a normie deserve last rest. Get by as you need. Alright. So we have some mutants to kill. I'm going to be honest. I don't really want to do that. Because if you kill the mutants, then the rest of the mutant army comes and investigates and this place just gets burnt to hell. We're also going out to the world map because I could just you know, do that to get to the watershed. So, I'm um, loath to do this. But we'll see. There's one. Let's see if we can. Uh, hello, pretty lady. <laughs> you look real nice. Oh dear. Are you busy? I could use a big, strong man. Move a little closer, I've got something for you. Yeah, the uh, got something would be a sniper rifle to the face. But let's try that. Hey, you are normal. Gotta take you to Lou now. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't want to go see Lou because I have things I need to get done. Please don't do it. Let me go. Let's try that. Go away quick or Harry be in trouble. Whew. Managed to talk my way out of that one. Good. Right. Now we need to get over here. Because this is the water pump. The water pump isn't working. And now I believe I just get this. Go use on. Water pump. Massive pump struggles to life after you successfully install the missing parts. You've gained a level, you earn 1000 XP fixing the water pump, the will of be grateful. And the title is Desert Wanderer. Right. Ooh, new stuff. Educated. Five new skill points when you earn a level. That's tempting. 
Empathy. Interesting. Okay. Fast healing. That's alright. Friendly foe. That's tempting because it will let me. It will then show me who is on my team and who isn't. But I might not get that. I think I will go for educated, actually. Because extra skill points I like. We've now got 20, so that's lovely. It essentially negates the uh, minus from our gifted. So, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do seven. There we are. And uh, let's turn that to that for now. Two, one, one, two, three, one, two, five, one, two, seven. That will do for small guns for the moment, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Let's just put the rest into lockpicks. That's 88. I'm going to want barter at some point, which is currently only 20. I do need to get that up so I can get some better deals. But that can, I can wait a little bit longer if necessary. There's a ghoul over here locked up. Well, what do you want? Uh, I'm here to let you out. Why not? Got my lockpick set on me. Oh, of course I do. Use on the door. You unlock the door. Thanks for letting me out. I got 400 XP for freeing him. No problem. Right, now, I think it's this door. Yep, we want that. We'll swap back to gun, and then we want that. And this should do it. Is he going to attack? Yes, they are. You tread without permission. Well, guess what? I don't care. 87 hit points, I expose like blood sausage. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. Dog meat says no. He shot him. He shot him. Yes, I made. Ian uses gun, although he's now deciding he's going to try and go into combat again. End the turn, or end the combat. And this should look familiar. It's a vault. And we have only one thing in mind here. Get the water chip. It should be on level 3. The vault looks partially scavenged, uh, particularly scavenged, sorry. You think to yourself that nothing of value could possibly remain. Well, there's only one thing we're interested in, and it's over here. See a water process and control computer, it is functional, and we now have the chip. As shutting down the water purification computer, you can now hear the prepared, repaired water pump working in the distance, bringing water up from what must be deep, a deep well under Necropolis. You earn two and a half grand for getting the water chip. This, as I believe I mentioned earlier, is Vault 12. And, uh, yeah, we just stole their water chip. But, it's important because we can now get rid of that stupid day limit. So we'll just get out of here. And we'll go give uh, the chip to our vault. And then depending on how long it takes, we may actually call the episode there. Because obviously it's going to be a long trek and there's going to be random encounters and blah blah blah. Okay, now we get out. Now hopefully Lou, or sorry, Harry, won't try and take us to Lou. Bye Harry. Very helpful for a mutant. Back to Vault 13. Across the desolate wastes with our companions in tow, not knowing what we might face because there's all sorts of horrible gribbly shit out here. And uh, hopefully we won't get eaten. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping that might be a location, but no, apparently not. Going slower because we're going up some hills, I would guess. And we're nearly there. And it looks like we're going to get away without anything nasty. Yes, we did. Right. Vault door, entrance, living quarters, command. That's where we want to go. So 
We're back. Hello, everybody. I am successful in my quest. I have a thingy for you. Well, I don't think about it. More ammo. There's the overseer. That's who we need to talk to. This is the operations room. All command and control operations are performed here. These are these people are leaders of the vault. Have you found the chip? Yes. Okie dokie. One moment. The chip is initializing. There, 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 there it goes. Self test is green. Reboot is good. Ah, it's working, and it looks like we have a winner. <laughs> oh. Saved us. You've done it. Eh, it was nothing. Nothing? No. Oh, no. It was something. Don't downplay what you've done. You've saved a lot of lives. All right. Now we need a report on what's out there. Please go to the library. Okay. And we got a level for doing that. Um,. Is it? You earned seven and a half grand for returning the water ship and saving the vault. Congratulations, you have gained a level. You log your reports in the library computer system. You should return to the overseer to finalize your progress. You are now level seven. So, what shall we have? What shall we have? I'm going to put a bit. Hey, that's a lot more skill points now. I'm going to put a bit into this. The species always good. Uh, I'm going to put five points into barter. That. We'll do that, and then we'll put the rest into speech. Why not? Because there are some very, very tough speech challenges to do. So you know, it's it's a good idea. Can we get anything out of this? Take scientific skills to get anything useful. All right. Well, where's my science? My science is thirty-three. Let's have a go. You spend six hours researching any topic that seems important. You feel you have gained vital knowledge that will help you in your travels outside the vault. Oh, I could have done with that earlier. But hey, it's XP. Alright then, let's go and uh, talk to the Overseer. I believe there's a couple of quests I can do here as well. Put dog meat got locked in. Hello, Mr. Overseer. You actually bought it. Talk to him. I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. Concerned about what? I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Come to an unpleasant conclusion. And what's that? Uh, the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. It must be a lab somewhere, then. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally. Even with the radiation from the war. What do you want me to do about it? As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Once more into the breach, my friend. I have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. And yeah, there we go. There's a few odds and sods we can do around here. But I think... That is a good place to leave it. You know, we've got the main quest done. So, yeah. Now we got rid of the stupid time limit. Let's get the game saved. As you can see, I made a new save there already. And that'll do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you all next week. And just remember, game hard or go home. Cheers.